Okay, part four in the uh, customer um, imitator 1200 rotator um, disassemblies. This is the fourth rotator. As you can see, this one's actually had a bit of work done to it. There's the other way, so we're on your way. So they've actually welded some extra pieces on here and they've actually got um, inserts in the bottom here. I don't know if I might find is if they weld, they tend to soften everything, but we shall see what it looks like on the inside. It's got a bit of backlash in it and a lot of end plate. So this one's probably getting another candidate for the um, a revamp of the bearings in it, possibly. The next size up probably, or half size. So let's get stuck into him. Oh, holy jeez. Okay, here we go. I least had some grease on it, but not right at the very end. Um, right there. Seemed to have a big cable tie there. This has definitely been a part, that's not standard. So, alright. Let's see what surprises we have this time. Will it come off? Yes, it will. Okay. Definitely someone's been in here again. The lithium sulfite. Well, or I grease it looks like the lithium sulfite. out of here. Actually feels gritty this one. Yeah the grease feels gritty. Well this is the bottom stage here. Maybe it had sand or something. A lot of dust or something maybe I don't know. Just feels a bit gritty. Okay, door flip flop, and there you go. Bearings are falling out everywhere, which I'm going to dig them out, which is one good thing. Yeah, but again, yellow grease still in here. It's only half a job. Dig all these out of here. Should do it in front of the camera, shouldn't I? Check the casing. Yes, oh, yellow is still in this. So. Okay. Get this side. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's put the larrows on here for obviously alignment, but that's not the halfway point or not even north. Okay. Or south. South is here. Oh, look at that. That is rock hard again. I guess the same thing as done before, they've done the bearings and haven't done the gears. The most important thing is doing the gears. That's why that in a previous video you would have seen that the uh, uh, pinion, aluminium pinion was worn out because the gears weren't done. That's a lot of load. On. So this again is a late model. As you can tell by the potentiometers down inside. And we had two separate pieces here. So we shall um so this customer's got two old versions and two new versions, or newer versions I should say. Okay. Get this all out of here. Let's get this top off. Out there, you little beggar. Let's 
Let's see if we can get this out. Now you can see where the welds have come through the bottom. Get light in the right direction. How much has weakened it, I don't know, but at least it's all been fixed. Oh, it had cracks in it. You can see where the cracks were. Okay. So it's had a bit of a hard life, this one. Okay. So it needed some attention. Okay, we have a mixture of old and new grease in here. They are still pretty um, seized up, I'd say. So let's carry on. Let me drop this back in here. Alright, oh, no. here we go. Oh, these style screws. Let's give these a bit of a whack. Changing tip to the Phillips head. Let's get this motor out. Oh, first things first. Cut the red. This is actually the way I like to do it. Red wire on this side, all the rest of it on the other side. Okay, okay. Let's just cut that there. Oh, see, this someone's been in here before. There's an orange cable tie instead of the white one that imitator normally use. Okay, dokey. All right, let's get this motor off. Let's see. What Surprises we had. Right. Oh, come back here, spring washer, uh, shake washer. Okay. Get back on there, washer. Okay. Yeah, again, we have spacer washers on here. Okay. You don't need the spacer washers if you set the gears up properly, but whatever. Okay. Well, the brake doesn't work. It just spins around. There goes the, the other battery getting charged. Okay, get back to this again. That just spins, which means the brake is not working. Either someone has not put this back together again properly or whatever. So, again, here we go again. Let's uh, see if we can separate these two little beggars, two little push nuts. Or if they don't want to come off individually, we'll take them all together. Whichever way they want to go. As long as they don't fly across the bloody workshop, we'll be all good. Yep, there's definitely two there. Jammed together actually. Yeah, we got two. Okay. Oh, that's gonna come out. Probably the that's probably a bit free bar maybe. Let's see if we can just get underneath here maybe. Just force it out a bit maybe. Now I get my fingers on it. Oh wait, boy. Okay. Pinion's not in bad shape. So, why was this slipping? Pushes into the side, okay. So the brake is actually working, so why wasn't it working? I didn't take much notice, but I think the actual um, now this is meant to work is these alarms are meant to be between the two 
legs of the um, probably can't see it against my black glove I'll try and hold it like that so you actually can really see it right, let's see you've got two little ends here and that either one of those legs should be between it I've got a funny feeling the leg was on the side out the side here so someone turned this apart or Seems to be okay. We'll get the actual drum off as well. This will all need to be reset up as well. So I think this has been a part at some time in its life and it's never been put back properly. The actual um, this is the actual BK road is very low, very low. Actually, matter of fact, too low. So maybe that's what the problem was. Yeah, it's been jumping across the top of it. You see the wear mark there. It's been skipping right across the top of it. Yep, it's been right, it's way too low. It's been jumping over it and wrapping around the side of it. Fun. Okay, well that's going to have to be looked into. Okay, moving forward. Let's get the, let's change bits again. To the 10 mil up. Oh. Whoops, it's a flip I'm getting ahead of myself. And again, someone's marked with an arrow here. I'm thinking this is where things should go. It's probably a good thing to mark it. But I've done quite a few of these now. So. Okay, yep, mixture of old and new grease. Yeah, still said, look, that is stuck in there. This is a little spacer. Get off me. Yeah, old and new grease, as usual. Yeah, it's still a bit tight. Oh, yeah. Yep. And that's that ring on there. That's where the top of the actual motor, or the shaft of the motor, has been been resting. So, with the spacing not too, is not good enough, they rest like this. But it runs on like that. That's because the spacings weren't done properly, and and this, yeah. So yeah. 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 Manky. Look at that yucky yellow. It looks. Yeah. Ooh, I wish I could pull it apart. Not the very first one. It was a shocker. Oh, still pretty tight though. Grease is not the best shape. It's definitely a later model because this is a, the welded one. Again, in really manky condition. Can we get this big one out? Yep, we got him out. Shaft off. Very average. But still very sticky, so really needed to be serviced. Oh, out. Yeah. Let's just see if I can just loosen this. Pliers. I'm only grabbing it on the Grab it right in where the uh, where it steps into the. Okay, so that's that's out. Now we can get these other ones out of here. Get rid of this top plate. Which I did the wrong thing again, but whatever. But you can still see that the mess in here. Yellow grease mixed with the lithium sulfite, or whatever that grease is, and it's the same up in here. Okay, let's, that's going to come off. Doesn't look like it's going to come off either. Okay, let's get these. Uh, get the limit switch assembly off. Yeah, uh, fall down there. Yeah, they 
This seems like get out of the road. I've been bent. Okay, we'll go over that. Do they work okay? Yeah, not too bad. Okay, let's get the potentiometer out. I suppose I should do a video of me stripping down a potentiometer as well because I can't buy their 600 ohms anymore and I have to refurbish them. I might do a video of stripping down one of these, these ones here. That probably spins a little bit too free. Yeah, it's got a little bit of backlash in, in it. This is what I don't like about this three stage one. It's got a lot of backlash in it. Yeah, okay, well that's... Now here we go again with our favourite bloody swing bar. It's, you can see the grease under here, look. It's yellow and they piled it underneath there. And look at that. That should just rest down on the other end here. I've got to push it down. Yep, wink. So yeah. Back to our old friend, the swing bar disassembly. Here we go again, get the old bendy screwdriver out. I think I've done this before, today. Here we go again. That grease has been you know, used, it's absolutely terrible. As I keep saying, I'll say it again, again, again. Service your rotators. Especially do things like this. This will actually stop your rotator from working if you don't service this. Even if I turn it upside down, that will not come out. Yeah, they piled on this there. And it shows you how bad this grease is. This is probably not a, a, a bad case, but normally it etches off the actual um, the um, uh, zinc plating, the gold zinc plating. Okay, that all needs to be cleaned up. Now we've got to try and get these little beggars out. Where's my. Push them out. There we go. Yep. Yep. And as usual, yep. Got the yellow in there. Mixed with the other grease. Not good. Yuck. I've got a lot of cleaning up to do here. Oh, mess. And one plate. As you can see, look at that. Yellow grease mixed with the grey dilithium sulfide or whatever grease they're using. Just not just done pro not done properly. Okay, that is number four. Strip down. Ready for the massive big cleanup I've got to do. And I'll probably um, do another video of it all cleaned up because the cleaning up process is going to be boring as all anything. And it's just like but let's see how I go. We now have four rotators completely stripped down, um, and uh, I'll probably have it with the motors as well. But that will probably end it for this video. I shall see you next one, I suppose. Catches. Bye.